Tonight, we do one of the most daring things ever done on this channel. We take our tents and we spend the night in Lancaster's County Lunatic Asylum. This place has been abandoned for nine years now, originally built in 1816 with numerous add-ons throughout the years. This place has seen its fair share of dark times. An ex-police officer described this place as a hellhole, missing patients constantly, mistreatment, neglect. Within these walls lingers the dark past, the residual energy that once happened in here. And now, we have to spend the full night, 12 hours to be exact, from 7pm until 7am. There is only one rule for tonight's stay, and you cannot leave. We cannot and will not leave this asylum, no matter what happens. If you can do just one thing for me right now, like the video. Every like is a prayer, and we need as many prayers as we can get right now. Right, what if you drag me out this time in the morning in the GTR? What's going on? You're gonna be shocked when I tell you this. Right, go on. Right. I need to. So, I've not been out for a while, and I decided I, I need to go to this place because I've never been. I went to Ridgely Asylum. Right, first of all, Ridge, Ridgely Asylum. I've been there before with a group of people. Scary as shit inside there. And then you two boys decide to waltz in there on your own. Okay, right. Props to you. So, Continue. It was early morning. We went in. You're a sceptic, aren't you? He doesn't believe in anything. Well, I've never seen it, so... No. We walked in, and he was like, yeah, let's go for it. So I walked in. And we got up to the stairs, and right away I felt creepy. And I looked down this corridor, and I swear to you, right, I swear down, right, there is proof. Okay. And I'll show you. Okay. There is a little girl's voice, and she said, monster, repeatedly. And it, it 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 was so real. It resonated around the building. It echoed. Around what, the building. what kind of what kind of uh, tone did she say it in? Kind of like um, like concerned. Uh, was it was it like um, elongated almost? Yes, yeah. Because yeah, that's that's what I've experienced in the past when we've caught voices on the on the EVP recorders. Normally, it's not just like they wouldn't just say hello. It'd be hello. Yeah. It'd be like yeah. double like proper long double syllable. Yeah. Too, so it was definitely, it was like, monster. Oh, right, okay, okay. Monster. Very similar. Like that. And it was like three or four times before I thought, hang on, where is that? So I ran downstairs thinking it was downstairs. And I said to him, where are you going? I said, I'm going downstairs. I thought it was there. Ran downstairs, nothing. Heard something outside. Went outside, nothing. And I thought, I'm not going back in there. And then I thought, I need, I need to tell someone. So then that's why I rang you. <laughs> so I was like, rang me. I, was like I, I need someone to validate this to make sure this is real. By the way, I was in bed at the time. Wasn't sleeping, I was just sat there <laughs> contemplating life and I was like, Flex is calling me. What's, what's Flex want at nine o'clock in the morning? <laughs> right, come on, let's let's not keep them waiting anymore. Let, let's hear it. Right. Ready? Are you sure? Are you, sure? Are you down? Are you ready for this? Hold on, though. We, we best ask the car. Are you ready? Let me know. <laughs> Yeah, I think she's ready. <laughs> yeah. Right. I have cut this down so it's three seconds long. I'm not going to give you any more. Okay. Right. Yep. This is three seconds long. I've turned it up as much as I possibly can, so we'll have to be very quiet. Ready? Oh, shit. Again? Oh shit! I heard it better this time. So, so when we've we've been sat we've been sat here for like I don't know twenty minutes or so. We, well, we stood outside the car and he played for me outside, and I couldn't really hear it that much. But now we're sat in with, without the wind. Holy shit! Like that's that's. I can hear it go monster. And it's it's very. It is very long. It's like the, like the two syllables, the first syllable, monster. It's like they're really thinking about it. Yeah. And there was nobody there. It sounds like a classic horror movie type audio file, that. Yeah. Monster. But it was the way that it echoed. It wasn't as if it was, you know, if it wasn't. So you heard the reverberations throughout yeah. the building? 
Yeah. I mean... Okay. Yeah, you can hear the echo. You can hear the echo clearly. I was like, I need to tell someone. And I thought, right, I'm going to ring Dan. Right, OK. <laughs> so so now we've established that there's a, a girl saying there's a monster in there or calling someone a monster. It could have been, um, you know, like Storm Tate Fury. It could have been a patient that was there and they were calling the staff member a monster or mm -hmm. you just don't know. But what do you think we do now? I'm going to suggest something. And I don't know if you'll be very happy with it. OK. Remember that thing we did a while ago and we slept overnight? <laughs> you mean abandoned camping? Yes. What if we do that? Abandoned camping inside the haunted asylum. Yes, on which we heard that. If you'd have asked me this two months ago, as I said, Flex, you're crazy. Let, let's, go and f let's go and get food. Or let's go and do some underground filming instead. Now, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. I've got a new lease of life. When it comes to paranormal, I don't care. Nothing scares me anymore. So let's go. It's the perfect time to do when? it. When? Now. You want to go now? Now. Tell you what. Tell you what. Well, we're going to have to take a trip home first. Yeah. I need to get the tents. I need to get my paranormal equipment. Yes. I've got a ton of it. A ton of it. In fact, I reckon that we can make probably one of the best paranormal videos that I've ever made, you've ever made inside that asylum with the new equipment that I've got. I'm hoping that this little girl comes out and reaches out to us. Maybe we should bring a tr trigger object, maybe a teddy bear or something. I'm going to bring some child toys, some kids' toys. Right, OK. Right, guys, I'm going to catch you back home then when I'm getting the gear together. Um, let me know down below. Yeah, just let me know down below what you think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get. This could be crazy, this could be crazy. It's the first time we've done it like a proper paranormal uh, camping. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's not like a normal one, it's not like we've picked a place out of random. Yeah, this you know. is not like just a normal abandoned place. This is an asylum that is known to be incredibly haunted. Um, bad things went on there. And it's next to a prison. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's next to a prison. I forgot about that. So, and, yeah. Right, Let's do I'll it. catch you back at the house. We'll go over to the vlog channel, Exploring Fact is Extra. Um, first time driving it in a year, loads of other bits. I bought some of uh, these uh, HKS coilovers. I already have 10 coilovers on mine, but you know, second set, these were a mess. I've given them a stage one clean. I'm going to go through a bunch of different stages. I'm going to strip them down, I'm going to clean them. Yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff on there. Um, I've been doing first time drive. Um, bits I've been buying, new installs that I've done, I've done a couple of really cool mods recently as well. Exploring Fires Extra, go and subscribe if you already know. And if you want to relive some of the past, go and follow me on Facebook, right? So I'm running a competition on Facebook. Everyone who goes over and follows me and shares my videos when I post them are in for a chance of winning one of the mystery boxes of doom. I know I slacked on giving away on live streams because I haven't been live streaming much. I have a bunch of uh, Mystery Boxes of Doom to give away. Now, Mystery Box of Doom has like £300 worth of stuff in it, merchandise, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So if you want to win one of those Mystery Box of Doom, it doesn't cost you anything. All you need to do is go over to Facebook, follow me on Facebook, Spurman Fighters, you already know, and then share the videos that are getting posted. So the videos that are getting posted are from the archives. Some of them could be four years old, five years old, or just a year old, but there's some really good memories to look back on there. You already know, Spurman Fighters Facebook. Okay, so it's been a few days since uh, I went and saw Flex. Um, it's given us time. It's given us chance to gear up, power up, because we're going to need it. Because this is going to be one of the most terrifying nights I've ever had. This is the overnight camping episode three, the abandoned asylum. Are you ready, James? It's been a while, but I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I am. You've never done abandoned camping before. Well, and no, no, I'm filming. No. You're getting thrown into the deep end because this is a severely haunted mental asylum that's been abandoned for quite a while. Can only get ready for it, let's go. Alright, okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Right, boys, we're just getting all the equipment. Um, them logs are heavy as hell. Uh, we've got a, about a half mile walk into the asylum itself. Probably gonna put my camera away just because I'm gonna have to carry loads of stuff. Um, but I'll get my camera out as soon as we get inside the asylum. 
Right, okay, as you can see, we are inside the asylum right now. We have come straight up to the uh, the first floor uh, for the American second floor, and we are going to make camp here in this corridor. This is one of the main corridors where it all went down abuse, neglect, all kinds of stuff. This corridor, if it could speak, would say a hell of a lot. Um, but we're, what we're going to do, we're going to try and barricade ourselves in a bit. Uh, we picked this spot because. Oh, oh, sh sh Might just be um, water drops. It is raining outside. <coughs> Could just be water drops. Uh, what I'm saying, the reason why we picked this spot here in particular is we have multiple of these rooms next to us and every one of them has open windows like that so we can have a controlled little fire inside this barbecue pit um, without having to worry about smoking the place out. One of them is down there. I've seen something move from the right to the left of this corridor. Well, we've got 12 hours in here, boys. Um, I'm pretty sure if there's something here, we're going to find it or it's going to find us. At this point, I think we're going to be doing 12 hour shift in McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get in burgers after it. Right, boys. Let's get this uh, set up, let's get these tents ready. Let's clear the floor a bit, let's get some lights out. Yeah, that's, that's our main objective right now, get some lights out. Let's get the lights out. Right, a bit of a uh, development. We've only got two tents and two sleeping bags. I thought that Flex had his. So yeah, we're gonna have to make do uh, with this one tonight. Plus she is showing the Flex. We're talking to Sarah and you. I are gonna be my duty to stand up in the corridor and watch us. <laughs> Like so, I'm gonna have to take this out to get my. Put it on top of the wall. Put it on top of the. Yeah, there are some people who get this installed. If we've got a board or something like that, we'll be pushing all wet. Well, we'll see. I don't know how well this night is going to turn out. But the moment we've currently got both tents set out, not exactly how I planned, we're facing away from uh, both entrances, the entrance to the east and the entrance to the west. Now, if I grab my torch, we have barricaded them a bit, um, just for protection in case. Um, a bit. 
Well, we do play a lot of zombies, so... And we've heard a hell of a lot of bangs and stuff so far. And it's not windy outside either. But right now, um, it's time for us to venture off. And start a paranormal investigation. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's yeah. go. What is it? Well, I don't know. What is that? Oh. Don't know what it is. It's falling down from the ceiling because it's getting warm. It's a. Oh, it's, it's a dead the carcass one. of a daddy yeah, one. Like. It's a dead oh. one. Butterfly Wait, fan. where the hell did that come what from? Because a butterfly, a spider, and a wasp. But it's just in a butterfly. What? And that spider's just come back alive. Oh, and a, uh, a woodlouse. Is that a woodlouse? One of them things. I mean, considering it's uh, it's January, you'd, I didn't even think bees and stuff are about right now. I think this is the strangest place. Right, so one of the things we're going to do is we have um, obviously all the ghosts that come with us. I'm going to put two CCTV cameras up. One on the, uh, this end of the, the, the room, and one at the other end of the room, facing down both ways. So if any, anything else happens, we'll capture it on camera. Okay, let's do it. So what have we got? Well, the only problem is I don't have a screwdriver. <coughs> I've got a knife. That might work. Have you not got like a, uh, anything else works? A thermo, a magic, something. No, nothing. Got a knife, a pair of scissors, a blade. Scissors. You know, whose idea was it to say, yeah. oh, we'll camp in a corridor? Uh, it was done. <laughs> <laughs> when Flex found out, he was he was fuming. <laughs> I should have known better. But whose idea was it to stay in a uh, asylum? It was actually mine. <laughs> I think originally. <laughs> I'm just thinking, do I have a <laughs> Right, so the first camera. Well, this is the outside this. Yeah, I know, I've looked out here. There's, there's a metal staircase there going up. No wonder it's so cold here then. Yeah, no, it's these, well, it's these windows. Because before, both of these windows were open. Gonna be facing down here. Yeah, but these windows aren't actually... So, I mean, we're not getting no breeze from here. That's why I'm saying it's not that window. It's quite, it's quite sheltered. I don't think that we're getting... The breeze is coming from this side. I genuinely think it's coming through them windows at the bottom. Like, straight down, it's the door. <laughs> Your Bluetooth device is connected. <laughs> Your flex are easily amused. Daniel's just dead serious. Alright, hold on. You could rest it on top of them. Facing directly down the corridor at us.
Look at that. So that's going to pay us straight down here. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I'm ready. We're going to start the paranormal off in here. Because mm -hmm. obviously we're going to be sleeping here, so we might as well, might as well kind of drop something in here. Yeah. Um, so we'll start off in here, we'll do some bits, then we'll move around the place. Um, I don't know how far we're going to be able to venture, because obviously we don't really want to leave all our stuff here. Um, but no doubt, I know I do, you do, and James will probably come back and do a full explore. I've already got a full explore of this place, so if you do want to see it, if you do want to see the full explore, I'll put the link down below. That's the original video where I explored the whole place, and the other guys have got their own videos. So, um, yeah, not going to venture too far because we want to make sure none of our stuff gets robbed. I don't even know if anyone's in here. Well, I say, I mean, they're not some of the noises we've heard. Oh yeah, I didn't think it was big as it is. Yeah, it's, it's massive. Forty-one acre, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Forty-one acre, forty-one. Right, boys. Anyway. I think the, I think what we should probably concentrate on um, is devices. Now I have already put them there because there were some weird bangs. So I've got a CCTV camera down there and a CCTV camera down there as well. Um, so what have you got in this bag of goodies? Uh, what haven't I got? Okay, so some of the main stuff we've got is a full spectrum camera. Now this camera can see in a spectrum far beyond ours. So we have we can see a certain spectrum of light, but this can see far beyond that. Therefore, the possibility of it seeing things we can't is more probable. So we'll be using that. All right. We'll also be using the music box, which has a 180 degree sensor on the front. And if anything crosses that sensor, It'll play a song. Okay, so we'll be using that. We'll definitely be going with REM the pod. good old REM pod. We'll go with the proper REM pod. Mm. Um, we'll, we'll get out some other devices. I'll probably use a spirit box as well, and definitely an EVP recorder. Mm. But let's get these ones set up for now. Right, James, you want to go and place that somewhere? What? Um, well, we heard a bang come from in there. Why don't you place it facing away from the door? So you want me to go inside the room well, where we heard a bank? Well, I'm, st I'm stood here. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the REM pod down there. Let me find the aerial. And the last couple of things we'll put round are some... Um, <laughs> we'll put some of these ba uh, these balls round. Okay, these are just cat balls. Cat balls? Yep. Oh, they're cool, these. Right, for your cat? Yep, yeah, exactly for your cat. And it takes movement to set them off. Am, am I right? Well, what it's, is that? It takes this button. No, no, that's turning it on. If you don't move for a you second. You shake them. No, you just turned it off. Right, yeah. You've got to shake them. So vibration can set them off. So if you've got that going off, as well as like a REM pod, it's undeniable. So if you put that one in there, I'm going to put this next to the uh, REM pod. I'm going to put one on here. I'm going to put this one here as well. Is another just a form of REM pod. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you can set that one up as well. It's uh, it's got a double antenna. You know, funny enough, I don't think I've ever had that go off. Right, so this uh, is a proper REM pod, so if you put your hand near it, <coughs> so the closer you get to it, yeah, it breaks its field. Maybe touch it, it goes nuts. Yeah. So we'll, we'll put this one right down at the doorway here. Oh, okay. Sit that one there, there's the camera. These are bulbs that I've put up as well. And full spectrum camera. Mm. Right. We will 
run that. Or hurry not even go on. In fact, you know what? We could put it inside there with the music box. I think I think something's definitely inside the that room. Right, well I'll tell you what, let me put it on a tripod and I'll put it inside with the music box. Okay, do you wanna lead us to where you uh put that music box? Right, so this is where we put the music box. Sorry, man. Yeah, you step in front of it. Do you just want to grab that a second? Yeah. So, if I place this... Oh, my God. What? Just completely unrelated, but I'm going to tell you anyway. What? Do you know, um, a thing we used to do quite often, there was a number that used to crop up all the time. Yeah. We'd camp around right outside the number. Really? Yeah. So what's this little box here that I'm like? That's um, just for the um, night vision. So is that giving off light now? Or like? Yeah. Right, okay, Flex, what were you saying? Look at the number of that door. Oh, yeah. 42. Okay. Um, didn't think we'd have that tonight. No. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Right, well, we've got the devices set up. Um, mainly fixed towards this side of the... REM pod's going off. Is it actually? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting mad shivers. Do you want me to walk down to me? No, I'm just suggesting that. Should I? Go to it. Go to it. Take it so Oh, I think that's the temperature. Uh, it's temperature going up. Yeah, because it's a green light, isn't it? Uh, no, blue, blue light, it's temperature going down. Blue uh, light, red little light, temperature going up. And it's only if the green starts, that's when something's getting close to it. So that's registering a temperature increase right now. For example... See the green. That is when you turn it off. So the temperature's off now. I don't know. I thought it was last time, but it, it wasn't. Right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Right. Calling out to all the spirits inside this asylum. My name is Dan, I mean you no harm. We've come to speak to you, communicate with you and hopefully try and help you with whatever you need. All you need to do is come forward and communicate with us through some of the objects we've placed on the floor. Introduce yourselves boys. My name is Brendan. I mean you know I'm I just want to help. Yes. I just want to move away from this door really, because I just don't like being behind your window and the door's behind me. Right. Uh, go on. Go on, crack to me now. Introduce yourself. My name is James. And I'm not here to cause any harm. We just want to communicate. Just the light. So for us to start being able to start making uh, experiments and getting our more devices, we're going to need to know that you're here. So if you can set one of the lights off or make a noise. If 
you can go near that REM pod, the one with the red light on the floor, if you can go near that and change the colour. Yeah, full steps there. Yeah, it's hard they're coming from behind us. That's why I'm looking at I'm looking that way. I just don't want to take my eyes off that red pod. I feel like we need something down on that side as well. Is there anybody here with us at all? Come on, don't be shy. We know you were mistreated in here. You can come and tell your story. Is that you? If that's you in there, you're welcome to come and join us. Go. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus oh. Christ. That's a big ass wasp that. The hell? A wasp in, in January. Oh, that's a bee that. That's a wasp. That's a bee. What's that doing in here? Uh -uh. So we um, what do you want to go towards it? Stand a bit closer to it. No. I'm going to get the spirit box out. Right. Let's try the spirit box, okay? It's recording. What the hell was that? How was that? Did anybody get that on camera? No. I got it on my CCTV. I think I got it on camera. It sounded like an owl. No, it sounded like electronic, something electronic. That. What the? Well, what have I got down here? I've got my uh, camera. Yeah. There's the camera, there's the light, that's it. Unless it was my unless it was my camera making a noise, I wonder if it's low battery or something. I've never heard it make that noise before. I hope it was, because that was that was weird. <laughs> I didn't like that. that was weird that. It, it was like an owl, I get what you're saying. But, but it's that, like it sounded more like a yeah. I think it was the camera. You think? Yeah. That was like Yeah, I think it was the camera. <sighs> that our culprit. I think so. It's still got blue light going on. Are you, are you sure it was the camera down? Um, I don't know. Don't know, but now we've got that going, the REM pod's going off down there. Oh. Oh, nice. oh. Oh, I can't see. I think we need to walk around. Yeah. I think we need to take a... Can, can, we can't carry, what can we carry? The voice recorder, we, we could take um, Yeah, we'll take that with us, take the spirit box and we'll take the voice recorder. And I, might, I might even put my uh, microphone on to pick up more stuff. Yeah. Literally right before we're leaving, it's going off. What colour though? A bit more colour. I think mean, that's going to be blue, a little blue light. It's red. Don't know, anyway, we'll, it'll see, we'll see it on the full spectrum, let's, let's venture into the... Yeah. Other parts. Right, so what's this? Have we got to go through this one? Yeah, we've got to go through that one. Have you lost me? That's how the barricade's removed. Tell us what. Oh, fight! Well, there's our element of surprise, John. Do you know what I mean?
Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> you should have put the wall. This is serious, boys. This is serious. <coughs> That's very serious. It's tempting it. So I want to say one of the main things about this uh, this whole night was just to stay 12 hours inside a mental, an abandoned mental asylum and um, it's, it is about the paranormal but we are, it, the challenge is staying here. I do have a full explore of this place already, uh, link could be down below so you can watch the full explore if you want to see all of it but for now we're just staying here overnight. Spiders are sp I'm not sure I'm I won't even go in there, James. It's gonna be black mold. Yeah, it's, it's all kind of uh What the hell is that? Oh right, no. That was a scream, I swear to god. I, I swear to god that was a scream. Right from where we came, that was from, that was from our room as well. What are you talking? I don't know how, because you can't really get in there. Right. If there's stairs here, we're sure it came from our room or It might come from upstairs. <coughs> I'm so, I'm sure, almost positive I got that on my audio as well. Should we check downstairs? Yeah. Do you think it came from downstairs? Upstairs, downstairs, I, I just, I, I heard it. Oh, did you hear it? Oh God, man. was that not that by our room? <laughs> Listen, if someone... <laughs> Footsteps. There's another staircase there though as well. Oh yeah. Why the Come on, just chill out. No, no need to panic. No need to panic. All right, what's the worst? What's the screen? What's the worst thing that could happen? It's it's a a person or a ghost. Just no big deal. Let's just. It's a person or a ghost. No big deal. Just. I see. Well, let's do. Uh, this is a good place to do a spirit box then. Yeah, right. I'm changing my right? battery. Right, you change your battery quickly. Should we do it here or should we do it where the stairs are? Um, <coughs> well, if we do it where the stairs are, yeah, we might be able to get... We can, we'll be able to get a bit of narrow down where we have to be. We'll just be here. Alright. Xbox. Right, so, obviously... Can we all just, like, face? Away from each other. What do you mean away from each other? Well, like this. Yeah. So I'll cover the stairs. You cover the stairs, I'll cover this door and this door here. Are you being serious? 
Yeah, right, so obviously we've heard noises. We are currently staying here overnight. What is the first question we ask? Why? No, no, to the spirit. Who are you? Who are you? Do you wish to cause us any harm? Okay, do you wish to cause us any harm here? Okay, can you give me your name, please? I... Again. I swear to God, that came from our room. I'm not going back. My car keys are in there. <laughs> no, but no, but there's stairs there. There's another set of stairs for right. actually. Where we, where we can do this oh, shit. Invest. We need to investigate it. We need to find out what it is. Hello? Hello? Oh shit, sorry. What's this here? Oh. Right, so that's, that's the way we came then, isn't it? That's the only way we can get in. Right. I don't know where from. Right. Heard it twice. My camera's going on. I've heard it twice now. And it's coming from our room. Every time. Luckily, we've got the full spectrum camera set up. No, we was we've down, got two. We, we was down there. We've heard it coming from this direction. Is it coming from our room? I mean, we're in that doorway, or is it coming from inside there? I don't know. Let's do it from here. Let's just do it here. Right, go through it. You ready? <coughs> Can you please? Oh, it's coming from our door. Can you please give me a clear sign? that you want to communicate with us and the way to do that would be would be to say communicate Please say, please say communicate. I mean, I, I gotta say, I'm not a massive fan of the spirit box just because we never really picked much up on it apart from last episode where we had that dog yeah. coming through weirdly, a dog barking. <coughs> I didn't I didn't think animals could come through. Well, it was just weird. But right. I, I, I see what. Do you want to give it a go? You you ask a question. Yeah, go on. You ready? Go on. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go back to yeah. Um, are you a child? Are you a little I, girl? I, 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 it just said you cunt. It just said you c u n t. Oh, you joking? Yeah, I heard it clear as that. Are you a little girl? If you're, if you're a little girl or a little boy, please don't be afraid, we're here to help you. If you can come over here and make yourself known through this device here and we can try our best to help you. somewhere else. So I think we should go through there and up the stairs. What was that noise? What? Yeah. No. I just seen your face just drop. It's right. It sounded like a yeah. I think that was his stomach. Who's? James's stomach. No, 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 no. That what was. was? 
Thought I just no, 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 no. That, that was more like a. Boys, what the hell are we doing? It's like three o'clock in the morning. We're still inside an, an, an abandoned mental asylum. We'll go down there. Right. Added to this. That's where I heard originally last week. Right. Let's let's go there, and then I I say we head back to the tents. Yeah. Uh, we head back to the tents because we we can conduct paranormal from there anyway. Not only that, I, I just I, feel I, so. I think we're stupid. Doing a paranormal and going to sleep in some tents in the middle of the asylum. Yeah, maybe so, but it's it's what we have to do, boys. Yeah. Right, so we are currently getting in the tents, right? So how are we going to do this? Because obviously there's only two tents now. Well, one of us is going to have to stand up and watch all night. Right, well, you're, you're taking first shift. I'll take first shift. I don't mind sleeping with someone. Not well, any, I'm not being not, funny here, but I'm not, not sleeping with Lex. If you want to take one for a team, Dan, that's up to you. Hey, I'm not what's wrong Listen, with me? the only guys who've been farting is you two tonight. I don't want to show anyone who's farting. Do you know how many times I've slept in the same bed with Bucky? That fair player. And that's no, why he doesn't come out anymore. Yeah. Well, I shared a dream with Andrew. <laughs> so, I top you. Oh, tri no, no, I have as well, actually. Oh, God. Yeah. I've slept in the car with him. Too shit, too shit. Right, so how are we going to do this? Because... We've got about three hours to kill. Well, I'll take first watch, even though I don't really want it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna do a bit of editing and try and get like an hour or two sleep. Editing? Yeah, I've got some editing to do. Oh, right. But it, it normally knocks me out to sleep, even in a haunted asylum. Mm -hmm. I might be able to get some sleep. What do you think? Me? I don't think I'm going to get sleep. I think I will come shattered. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll lie on the... I'll, I'll lie, like, this, this bit here... I'll do my edit tonight. If I fall asleep, at least you can just get in this bit. Yeah, so. Right, right. Um, oh, and by the way, if you hear anything, just wake us up instantly. Mm. Okay, no so messing about. If I hear anything, you'll hear, so you'll hear me, trust me. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, and we'll we'll make some food soon if you want. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Oh, we might as well we might as well put the. Um, Jack of potatoes on there because it's gonna oh, yeah. it's gonna take about an hour for him to cook anyway on there. Right on the yeah, well you wrap them in tin foil first. Nice. All right, sweet. Let's do that. Oh. Yeah, I can't see. Put the steam on that. Nice. Are you happy with that, Dan? <laughs> what are you doing, you idiot? It's... You've still got the starchy texture. I thought you was going to try it, no. not just rub it in no, your fingers. No, 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 I'm feeling it, because the thing is, it's still bitty. You've got the starchy, yeah. You couldn't mash that. You couldn't? No. Well, you're not supposed to mash a jacket potato. No, but I'm just saying. I do. You mash your jacket potatoes? I do with my fork, yeah. I smash my bar a bit. You may as well have mash. No, it's different. Yeah. Mash with the skin on. I'd say another five minutes. Five minutes Just it is. Five. Uh, what the hell's that? Uh, a massive bang just came from down there. It came from the food there. Which it came from the food there, Flex. This is the last one. Flex. Good luck. Good luck. Someone just jit down through the 
It came from in that room? Yeah, I'm positive. I, I, I'm 100% certain it came from this room. But I don't want to go here. Wait, hold on. Oh, the, it goes through that room. Some loud come from behind Flax's tent. Well, that, that door's barricaded off, and that's barricaded. Can't get through there. I mean, you can get through there with that little black thing is there against that wall door. No, it came from, it came from it came, behind it came your from tent. That, it came from there. I, I swear it down, it came from there. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's true. Well, you know how it is when you're waiting for your potatoes. That got a couple of wieners. Yeah, you got a toast a wiener, so. <laughs> what? Why did you stick Ben? I don't know. I don't know why he keeps doing this. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know how you managed it. It still tastes good. <laughs> Oh, I think them potatoes are nearly ready, you know. Yeah, I hope so. I'm going to have my potato and I'm going to go to sleep, try and get some sleep for a little bit. Yeah. You, look, you look tired. I'm shattered. Yeah. Absolutely, I've been up since eight. It's weird knowing where we actually are, though, isn't it? Well, uh, to be fair, yeah, when I'm sat here and we have like, a little conversation, I kind of forget the where we actually are. Yeah. It's a weird feeling. Yeah. What we need, though. Well, I'm currently... Editing a, a video that went out probably last week. You hear all my voice, then? Oh, don't say that. I thought I'd say that. Yeah. Please don't say that, because that's what I heard last time I came in here. Women's voices. Yeah, we're just listening out, okay. Look, you keep stretching his wings out dead flat, mm. heating up a bit and then popping back up. Yeah. This big butterflies just come and chill with us underneath the fire. That's so cool. We need to give it Look. a different <laughs> name. Might, might be uh, cold in here. Damp. Yeah. Is that one still on that wall? Yeah. There's yeah. a couple. So there's quite a few then. Yeah, there's quite a few. Oh! I'll tell you where they're coming from. Where? I remember now. You know the boards on the windows? You've got to do it yeah. in David Amber voice. In one of these rooms, there is a board on a window, and inside of that board, in the, between the pane of glass and the board, there is hundreds of butterflies. Really? Yes. It's just, it's just brought it back to us, and I can't remember which room. It's like a, a very dark room. I will try and find it, and I will show you. Oh. Good up thing. The light, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I wonder why, why it follows the light. I think it's the, the moth in it. <laughs> well, he's trying to get a jump on it. Oh. <laughs> well, he's changed directions. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's, he's trying to corner me in. <laughs> right, let, let him get the light. Go on, stick it on him. Oh. It's like, it's, yeah, I was about to say it's like the opening to Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's loving life. 
very special butterfly. I'm sure it's a moth. I don't know, but whatever he is, his name's Steve. Yeah. Steve? Yeah, he's doing some epic dancing though, isn't he? It? He's got to be called Steve just because Fleck's name was Steve, and it was the first thing that yeah. Fleck said when we saw the butterfly. So. The first thing that popped into my head. That's little Steve, that. He does look very docile as well, so he could, he could be a Steve. Yeah, it could. Yeah, Steve's an only docile. Oh, he's just out of here. <laughs> Very easily entertained. Yeah, I think he's performing for you. I think he's literally doing a. What's he want? Does he want to come back to Preston? I think he's trying to woo you. He's trying to seduce you. Oh, he's not happy. Sorry, bro. Oh no, he's just getting his stride now. He's he's look, look what I can do. He's going to get on my knee in a sec. <laughs> look what I can do. Let him get on your knee. Oh. I wonder if they all escaped from the butterfly house. Flex. Yeah. Have you got out your tent? What? Did you get out your tent? No way. Uh, I swear I could hear people walking round. Well, I thought I heard that before as well. I didn't want to say anything in case you were asleep. I'm just going to try and get... I'm not I'm not even going to sleep. I'm just like lying down trying to take in the vibe. Yeah. Oh, what are you two talking about? I'll see you in an hour. Yeah. It's six o'clock by the way. I'll set my alarm for seven. Well, I think mine, well, mine and James are set for seven. Yeah, it's, it's a court. Well, if everyone sets your alarm for seven, no one's going to miss it. Right, set alarm for seven. Perfect. Oh, what a night. I didn't get a, I didn't get a, an ounce of sleep. Did you? Did you get any sleep? No. No, it's got cold, hasn't it? That fire when it burnt out, it's gone cold. I can see my own breath, I think. It's literally just oh. burning coals now. Oh. It's almost time for home time though. Oh. You alright? <laughs> did, uh, did you enjoy this experience? Have the alarms gone off yet? No. No, not yet. Almost time. Almost time to pack up and go home. What time is it? Almost 7 o'clock. One minute I'll sit on the floor. Obviously, it's uh, it's January. It's winter. It doesn't go light till about quarter past, half past eight in the morning now in the UK. So as we're leaving, it's still going to be dark, which is a shame. Summer's good for that because it goes light at five a.m. Yeah. Um, you can see my we survived though. Could not use a slept two three to the alarm. No, I didn't. I've not even been sleep. Have you been? How long have you been sleep for? I don't know. I've got 20 minutes, if that. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. For the whole in the I had a pretty good sleep. Really? Yeah. Well, right. Well, I said we made it, boys. Oh, yeah. 7 a.m. Oh. Is yours going off, Flex? Like? No, mine was on silent and it's. Was it? Not right. doing anything. Oh. 7 a.m. <laughs> oh, no. We're not gonna snooze, we're gonna dismiss. But you're gonna wake Carl off what for alarm then, innit? I he know. Fast I'm late. sure he was the one who told us to set alarms. Right, yeah, we, yeah, we won't we won't miss it then. We'd all wake up at half past one in the afternoon. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'm not here. That's what I do when I'm tired. Oh, right. Right boys, let's pack up. <laughs> let's pack up and get out of here. Funny enough, I haven't heard any of the device devices gone off. Not while we're being asleep. It's not while we're in the tent. It's when we're out of the tent. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear anything any even go off. So, all right, let's uh, let's pack up, boys. We just chucked on the last of our little bits on there to burn. I'm gonna set the camera up here, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's get home, boys. Let's do it. Let's dismantle.
Right, we are leaving. Finally, it's still dark. Our it's starting to go lightish. Oh yeah, it's still dark, dodgy. Come. Definitely open further than that. I don't know. Oh shit, I gotta go come back. Come back to that. No, it definitely open further. It's there it behind it, it's piled. I'm sure he did as well. I'll have to check back at the footage. Right, which way? Did you just chuckle when you got your foot in the head? Yep. <laughs> no, I can't walk too fast, I come in the way, it makes me waddle. <laughs> <laughs> Make me walk fast and I'll push him in and I can take over. Let's just go out this way. We survived. Yeah. Arriving in darkness and leaving in darkness. Why did we even do that, guys? Well, we survived. And we did it. So you don't have to. To be honest, I probably would do it again. But I would uh, do it where we. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Put back up? No, it's down here. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you when we get back to the car. Well, you can just about see the silhouette as the sun rises. That's where we stayed. And uh, it's a shame, it will be demolished soon as well. That's why we didn't mind having a fire inside. The, the whole place is getting knocked down within the next six months, so it's a shame. Look at that, sun's coming up behind uh, Behind Lancaster Farms Prison. That's a uh, juvenile prison. No, there's no police down there. <laughs> uh, it won't be far away from Sabi's prison anyway. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden we're getting swarmed. Hold on, stand to one side. Morning. <laughs> oh man, got swarmed by a bus and a runner. <laughs> Didn't see that guy coming, oh it's always a white silhouette. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I am getting more used to doing these videos as well. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below, different ways I can film it. It is quite difficult when I'm filming this. Obviously, we film for all our own channels. I'm filming this uh, on my own, I'm trying to get the right cinematics and all that kind of stuff. Any suggestions, let me down, know down below. If you have experience in camera work, cinematics, and uh, making videos, Drop me a message on Instagram because I'm looking for a cameraman. Also, as you can notice, there's three of us. Now we have four tents, there's meant to be a fourth, okay? Do you want to come with us on an overnight camping trip? Do you want to be our fourth member? All you need to do is go over to my Instagram, Explorer Fighters, and uh, let me know. Let me know if you want to come along. Um, I have four people already lined up for the next four videos. Now, bear in mind at the moment, boys, we're filming three videos a week. Three of these a week. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, James. <laughs> All right, James. Anyway. You can uh, apply to be on the channel and join us for an overnight, whether it be at a haunted place, abandoned place, or just an overnight stay somewhere in general. Let me know on Instagram if you want to come along. We're going to be picking some, well, we're going to be picking three people a week. Mm. So if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. When you see that story pop up saying who wants to come overnight, you got to DM me fast. DM, DM Very fast. Bad. You already know DM how it is. You, you know how it is. So yeah, for the next few videos, there is going to be random people that we're taking along. Some of them might be my friends who've always wanted to do it and I've never taken them. A lot of them are going to be you guys, the people behind the, the screens who watch and who always say, I wish I could come along with you, Dan. Well, now's your chance. Right, boys, it's about time we get home and get to bed. I'm, I'm tired. All right. All right, right. Uh, you already know Flex Tapes, Forgotten Past, go and check out their videos um, and their other content as well. And if you haven't already, make sure you go and see the daylight version of that Explorer. It's uh, linked <laughs> down below. Go and see the daylight. <laughs> the daylight version of my Explorer, yeah. yeah right, boys, let's go. Bye-bye.